This monkey is an orphan, separated from his mother since the day of his birth. This is the laboratory of psychologist Harry Harlow. Distressed. Permanently deprived. He is studying monkeys to better understand human relationships. He may die for want of love. Harlow believes he can use science to study love. Harlow is studying love because he believes it makes an indelible impact on a young life. He raises a baby monkey, allowing it to choose between two surrogate mothers, a wire mother that feeds it, and a cloth mother that doesn't. A cloth mother that Harlow thinks might provide something else, comfort and love. Here's baby 106, weaned on a wire mother. He's going to the wire mother. But this infant quickly runs to the cloth mother, where he will stay for the next 18 hours cuddling. In Harlow's mind, choosing nurturing over sustenance. In another experiment, Harlow creates a fearful situation. Whom does the infant turn to now? Let's find out what his reaction to his mother are when we frighten him. He's scared, all right. And he does what any child will do in a similar situation. He was running to his mother to touch her, to drive away his fear. To Harlow, there is something about the experience of comfort and love, even more than food, that seems crucial to all these monkeys. But what happens when the infant is raised alone, without any mother at all, wire or cloth? In this situation, the orphan monkey stays alone. He won't even go to the cloth mother when frightened, but retreats into his own world. Harlow believes he has shown how want of love can damage an infant for life. And he worries the same is true for people. <laughs> 